Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be doing a mukbang or a mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> We're just going to be talking today and eating, talking about the scandal between James Charles and Tati. That's how you said it? Tati Westbrook. Tati Westbrook. Now, we don't know all the tea, but Cicely do, so she's going to help us out. And she's going to start off by telling us the story or how it happened. And then we'll all give our thoughts and opinions. Okay. okay. So, these are the facts that I know based off of watching literally every video, all the scandal, mm -hmm. l reading every tweet, watching every video, literally everything. Tati and James are like BFFs. Tati's like his mom. All right. Tati literally has done everything to help him in his career, like from the very beginning. And Tati's had James on her channel like probably 12, 13 times, a lot of times. Mm -hmm. As well as making... Mm, <clears throat> <clears throat> Bubble. So Tati made a whole video talking about James's new palette and literally like obsessing over it, mm -hmm. making a whole, you know, just literally always supporting him in every way. And Tati has a brand called Halo and it's like these vitamins and they're really awesome. Literally, mm -hmm. where are they at? Because like I put them on here. Yeah, I have them. And oh, they're okay. literally so amazing and they have worked so good. Like they're worth the money if you go and buy. Right. Like for real. So she has Halo Beauty, and basically, you know, I went into some research, and basically, James has really never posted about it. Like, mm -hmm. he's congratulated her and, you know, kind of talked about it in videos with her, but has never really, like, made a video about it, like, publicly announcing, you know, like she does Halo, for Halo. Him. Yeah, like she does for him all the time. So is that what she but it, said about No, it? so, I mean, kind of. We're, we're going to get there. So basically, like, that's just a key, like, to this whole story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kills it. So, um, basically, Tachi's most number one competitor is Sugar Bear Hair, which is also a vitamin line. Halo, a, a hair vitamin? No, Halo, yeah, Halo vitamin. is hair, skin, and nails, so is, like, Sugar, Sugar Bear. Bear. Sugar Bear has more variety. Halo, so far, only has two supplements, but that's because she just, she just created Halo. Coachella. Mm -hmm. Coachella is literally, and you know, it's, like, one of the biggest music events yep. in the history of music events. So, there's going to be a crap ton of people there. Especially looking to take pictures with celebrities if they can. Because right. there's going to be celebrities there. Especially YouTubers because it's in their, yep. like, zone. It's in So he's going to Coachella. No security. He doesn't bring security. So that kind of rubbed everyone wrong. Because you're like, why would you not bring security mm -hmm. when you have 16 million subscribers on Instagram? Ways. 14 million on Insta. 15 million or 4 mm. million Twitter friends, like all this stuff. It's like, so, mm. but so that's why people are upset because he chose not to bring in security. Up? No, so listen, you just gotta let me. <laughs> it, it's so, there's so much to it, but just wait, it'll make sense. Okay. So, no one really thought much of it until a week later, Coachella's done, mm -hmm. everyone's moved on. He makes a post on his Snapchat or on his Instagram and he is talking about Sugar Bear Hair. And you know why? Because Ooh. Sugar Bear Hair gave him security at Coachella. Basically signed a contract with them to be sponsored by them, to make oh. money, to post about them. But in this video, he talks about how Sugar Bear Hair's vitamins have helped him go to sleep with his anxiety. Oh, wait, this is a hair, mm -hmm. these are hair pills. The, I mean, there's like multiple, yeah, but basically, yeah, they, they have, have other ones, yeah. but like, Sugar Bear Hair... Tell me my anxiety. Right. Go bad, go bad. Which is like all fine and dandy if you really believe that because he had probably only been taking that for probably a week right. because you know so he's he only not did that for the sponsor. Basically, though. basically, right. or that's what I'm assuming. He hasn't ever said anything else about using Sugar Bear because he's also said in videos that he doesn't like Sugar Bear. That right. you know he doesn't. And then so after he makes that sponsored post, probably two hours later. Mm, <laughs> and this is where the began. tea. The tea. Oh. Two hours later, Tati posted on her Insta story, mm -hmm. went on kind of a little rant. Of, she's talking about how she feels like she pours her heart into so much and never gets the love and support back that she gives. But and was like, that a shot at James? That was a shot at James. She I'm said, sure it was. I mean, it was. Right, it was right. very blatantly. And this towards was him. after he posted, posted. the sponsor post. Yes. So Okay, one thing I don't agree with. Why didn't she just text him that? She did. Right. This is the thing. She did. She says that he texted her, talking about how she he doesn't want to hurt her. After he, but did he the wants post. to get. I can't remember or if it was before. before or after. She says it in her video somewhere. But he texted her and, and said, "I don't mean to hurt you at all. Like, 
you know, this is just business, whatever. Like, they gave me security, and I felt like I should give back to them. I mm-hmm. don't think because I think you should be able to separate friendship from business because exactly. he's trying to get his bag. I understand, like, you make kind of hair care products or whatever, and he's your friend, and you do that for him. Mm-hmm. But does he ask her to do it? And I'm not saying that's, like, to be ungrateful. Yeah. But... It's if like I don't same ask time. you, you're, you're expecting me to do it because we're friends, but this is business. Well, she's never, like, the thing is that she's never asked him to sponsor, he, right. she's never asked him to sponsor Halo, ever. But she feels so I mean, like, she feels, because he's posting it, I mean, he doesn't post her just as a friend, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so, like, he's posting, and th- basically Tati's entire, like, thing is that she feels that he only cares about boosting himself, boosting his name, mm-hmm. getting more money. Mm-hmm. And it's proven more ways than just this mm-hmm. when people start posting. So, like, obviously from hearing the story first, like, I totally agree with you, you know, yeah. thinking mm-hmm. business is business. But then when I heard Tati's rants and, like, Jane, uh, and, like hearing Jeffree Star's tweets and stuff, like, yeah. it really started to make sense that, like, he does seem to be someone that, like, only cares about boosting himself. Yeah, but at the same what's time, wrong with that though? Like, no, no, no. Okay, there's see, there's two. That's the two dangerous routes. You yeah, go, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Because it's like on one hand, there there is nothing wrong for trying to get yourself, make yourself better in but your, in your career. Right, but if I'm you sorry. do have friendships with people, I, I understand the you know some things are just you know out of that friendship, out of respect for that friendship. Like if you knew that would hurt my feelings. Why can't you do another brand post? Why can't you, why can't you, like, for what? My thing is, though, even if he would have sponsored another hair care line, because she's in hair care, it would have bugged her. But it didn't have to be hair care. There's so much more to it than just that, but that's just what set it off. Mm -hmm. Right. So Tati, she didn't stop being friends with him. No, that's what that's just that's what like thing. she was like. Okay. Yeah, that was just like a post because if he made that public, then I mean, people started. I'm, like, pretty sure people started tweeting and, and Instagramming about how, like, James is shouting out Sugar Bear Hair but has never said anything about Halo. You mm-hmm. know, like, I mean, just in the community, right. you want to uplift other people, you yeah. know? And, like, Sugar Bear isn't a YouTuber. Like, it's, right. it's not a person. It's a company. I feel like now that I think about it, okay, yeah, I didn't ask for it, but at the same time, I would want a considerate friend. Right. I would. You see me doing so much for you. You're draining me of all my benefit for you. Right. I would hope you would be like, okay, you know what? Like, she's been doing all this for me. I could do this one thing that she's asking me. Like, that would hurt her for me not to do. There's so many other brands. Why Why do you need that one brand? You know right. what I mean? Like, especially if I was really a mom to you. Like, if I was really mm-hmm. like that to you, why do you need that one brand? When there's so many other ones. Mm-hmm. So I get that part of it. He literally, like, texted her apologizing about it. Like, knew it was wrong. Like, right. she didn't even say anything her. before, like, he texted her. I'm so then sure. he shouldn't have just but did it. Like, I don't understand If you know why. it's wrong, then why'd you do it? Mm-hmm. Like, or if you thought the it was wrong, why'd you do it? The thing that made it even worse is that she talked about all the money that he makes. And, like, obviously he makes a lot of money. Like, he's right. living boldly. And he's literally only 19. Right. So you didn't need the sponsorship. Right. Like, it's not right. like you was like, oh, I'm, Tati I'm broke. I need some money. I need, like, no. Like, yeah. you know you have that support anywhere else. I think I'm, he could have passed on that one. Yeah, he okay, really could have. when it comes to that situation, let's do our opinions. I think he could have passed on that. Yeah, I, I think, don't think he had to do that. Same. I what definitely think? think he should have passed. Be honest. It Be honest. That's I opinion. mean, it is, it's like a, a messed up situation because I don't feel like even for friendships, you should not have to stop your bag for a friendship. But it's not just I about... Don't, it, it doesn't matter how much money you already have. You can never have too much of it. And if you're... And like, I'm just saying, like, who, who I mean, says yeah, that? Like, yeah. you can never have too much money. Like, yeah. you're constantly... Even famous people, to stay famous and to stay rich, <laughs> they but have to know, get those bags. This is conspiracy. Like, it hasn't been, like, clarified right. yet. But <laughs> if you know... Like, it just... And Tati talked about it in her video because she believes that this, like this rubbed her the wrong way that James would go to Coachella without Mm -hmm. security and happened to end up with Sugar Bear security and happened to to be sponsored sponsored by them. Use your common sense. So she and a lot of people think that they set up that security to make it a week before so that he could have an excuse for the the sponsorship to keep his friendship with Tati. I definitely think this is the thing with getting a bag. Yeah, get your bag. Get your bag. Get your bag. I'm not saying burn bridges. Don't do that either, though. The only reason... No, not even that. Like, the only reason I wouldn't say... The only reason I wouldn't say that is because... 
after you get your bag, who gonna have your bag? Right. Who is gonna be there? Because nobody don't want to be around you. All you care about is money. You know what right. I mean? Right. Exactly. And not everybody's well, I'm not like that. Saying Some that's people... the only thing that you should care about, but the situation like that was a kind of a difficult situation for him. Maybe you, you don't. I mean. Okay, how was it difficult? Yeah. What if he wanted to do sponsorship? Really, I would have just went to my friend and been like, yo, like, this is what it is, this is what it ain't. Like, how you feeling? I wouldn't have done all you the... You would have said something. Yeah, I wouldn't have done all the back and, like, say the, the setting up and making it seem like I didn't go with security right. on accident or on purpose. Right. But, like, I would have just asked my friend, like, I just would have been straight up with my friend, like, if they would have been like, I really don't want you to do this, I'd have been like, well, can we make a compromise? Can we do something? Because I feel like this is good for my brand and this is good for me, but I don't want to step on your toes. But, see, if it was like that, maybe it'd be different. But I feel like he almost wasn't thinking about, was it, is it good for my brand? It's sugar bear hair, like. Right. That don't, that don't do nothing for your brand. Well, not his brand, but the money. But do he? I'm saying it doesn't matter if he needs it in order to not say in order to keep your money, you have to keep making money like that. But I'm saying, Miracle, he's not the only. That's not the only brand. Like it's no, so it's many, not. You chose to do the one your friend asked you. Like of all listen, the ones, that would really hurt me if you do that. How do you know she said that? She said in her video after he'd already done it. But she said that she they've talked about it. Like she he knows that would have did that. That's why he texted her and apologized. He literally before said, he, she said, "I didn't mean to hurt you." Like before anything. Before she even said anything. Well, I'm like, I well, would have asked. I, I like would have asked. I feel like I would have asked. I'm grown and I'm gonna do what I want. But I will let you know and we can go from there. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna inform you on the situation, but. Yeah. You know, we gonna have to compromise if you don't want me to do it. Like, what can we do to where you won't be hurt if I do this? Mm-hmm. I thought about it in like a, in like a boyfriend and best friend sense. Like, mm-hmm. so you broke up with this guy, mm-hmm. and the guy is Sugar Bear, and basically y'all had this great relationship, but you don't need more. And you have your best friend in the world, and your best friend just decides to date the guy. And the best friend could have come to you and and asked, and even if you would have said no and still dated the guy, like, even if the best friend would have said no and you still dated the guy, like, how would that make you feel? Like, y'all been best friends for life, and you could have just let that one guy go, and you would have been fine, yeah. but you didn't. It's one sponsorship that he would have been completely fine without. without that's what of I'm saying. Of all the money that he makes, of all the connections that he has, of all the following and support and love, he was willing to risk it all by having a sponsorship. Maybe that check looked nice. I'm just saying. Like, okay, you don't know, money hungry. Money can be greedy. Right. But money. that's what he is. If you have so money, I'm just saying, like, saying like, how you gonna be mad at him for being him? Like, I mean, but you can have all the money in the world, and if you have no one, you're literally going to be, you're going to I mean, if, unless like, you are heartless he and so care. it's like. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he doesn't care. We don't know him personally. Maybe he doesn't care. Obviously, he don't. <laughs> but that's you, what the scandal about. Also that he also don't care. That um, he's greedy. That he, but that's you also can't be mad at him for being him. If he's a greedy person, then that's who he is. Yeah, but that means But the thing is, it's like, greed what's so is annoying is that. No, greed's not good. It's just, but it's just crazy who are that, we like. to say, oh, that's wrong. But I mean, he's, no, greed is actually wrong. Yeah. But like, <laughs> no, but I'm just. That's actually. No, no, that's that's who? The Bible? <laughs> You have to be some <laughs> sort of religious. The Bible. You don't have to be religious. No, you don't. Religious is a. There's a Bible in every religious hotel. Religious is spiritual, different, but that's whatever. Thing. You have to. That's another topic for another lean day. Toward God. No, you you know the whole thing. You know how you were saying like, what if greedy is him? Like, what if that's who he is? Yeah, you can't like, tell him to stop. Okay, but the worst part is that no one would know that. No one like knows <laughs> that or thinks that. He never put that front on. So that's I think that's why it caught so many people off guard because he doesn't like, he don't act like he that. don't act like that. So so it's like you're pretending to be somebody now, now and you're now fake. and that's why so and I think that's why so many unfollowed him is because he doesn't act anything like what everyone was saying he is in person and like and I can and I can see how his friends are kind of in the wrong for not like letting him be himself and like right. letting people see his true colors and whatnot. But then also like 
out of the love that they have for him, like they wanted to protect him from that because he had such a big following. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't want to see this happen. Tati just happened to be the one person that exposed it all. Yeah. Because the second that she did, everybody everybody like, unfollowed him. Everybody yeah. unsubscribed. Everyone, Ember, even Emma Chamberlain, Emma Chamberlain the Dolan, Dolan twins, twins, Nikita Dragon, um, Kylie Jenner, Kylie, everyone. Because like people, know they even that. saying the the what's it Morphe? Morphe like didn't even want to work with him anymore. And that's his, that that's was his palette. Dude, that's like, somewhat got to be true. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So, I'm not saying not. True. It's not true. I mean, it is, and he probably is a greedy person, and it's just now coming out. Yeah. But too, I hate like when people are just like, oh, have such a big opinion on somebody doing something wrong, as if they've never done something wrong. I yeah, but like, like that, it's though. like a judgmental I really think thing. You need to watch, like, I think you need to watch. Trump's I think video you should too. Because it's it, not like that at all. It's like not. it's not like oh, we're trying to judge him. Everybody do wrong things. Yeah, I'm not saying what they should do is forgive him. I do believe in that. I don't think. But they I don't should think they should have him. to be best. Friend. I mean, I don't yeah, think I don't, they hate him because like you can distance yourself and forgive someone. Right. Yeah. I don't. And that's what, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that like none of us over here on this table are judging y'all. We're just. Talking about it, talking, we're just yeah. giving her opinion, opinion, my opinion, her. We're just talking about it. We've seen that check that he got. You don't know how and you, you never would know be. what money gonna do. To That's you what I'm you saying. Did. You don't know how you would be if you had that money, but True. you sitting here saying judging him for what he did and his decisions yeah. that he made. You yeah. don't know. You haven't been in that place I agree. to say what you would do. I agree. I because think that honestly, until you get in somebody's shoes, you can't really fully say you can what you would do because you don't know. You've never been that. You know, had that much money before. But the crazy Please, thing I'm though to is tell that you, if that check was some million, I'd have been like friend. But this is a thing too. We gonna have to do something. Guys. <laughs> but this is a thing too. Is like all of his best friends and stuff. Like, or when hmm. Sugar Bear would have offered me that, I would have went to my friend like, let's do, let's switch trade off sponsorships. You sponsor me, I sponsor you. Let's make money like that instead of backstabbing that her. That would've even been better, though. That's instead, of, instead of backstabbing her yeah. and, like, going behind her back and doing it. Yeah. This all could've been avoided if he would've just asked her. I wanna get on topic, because I'm trying. I'm kinda confused on the part with him being, like, a sexual predator. Oh, stuff. God! What? Listen. And, like, this is... Oh, okay, and this is... This is maybe just speculation. I'm not, like, 100% sure, but apparently he got kicked out of the Met Gala for stalking Shawn Mendes. Like... And didn't Shawn Mendes, oh, uh... Write a tweet or something? Yeah, yeah he's cool. trying to make gay people said, oh, straight. He goes the other way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's gay. He's very you gay. Can you can say it. You can't have a bad word. I know, but like, let's just. So that obviously she has these opinions, but doesn't even know James. <laughs> that so let's just. Like, no, I'm saying I this have is the opinion just because even if about the situation. Yeah, it ain't about him. I don't know him. Like, I thought that was uh Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Jeffrey is shaking. I thought that was Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey's quaking. No, right I know. Now. I know who Jeffrey is. Yeah. He, he be the one with the, the alien looking at yeah. him. No, Jeffrey's quaking because you just called him James. <laughs> <laughs> like Jeffrey's shook. Jeffrey about to shoot you. <laughs> right. Jeffrey's gonna like jump through the screen. Everybody watch the video and be like, oh, who is that? Uh, who is? <laughs> just, we're done. Let's find her. I'm in yeah. South Carolina, Good Jeffrey. <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> 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 This is <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I got too excited. Charles's tour and how she hated it and it was a waste of her money and posted it like the same time that mm -hmm. the scandal was going, but she didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. Got a million views and five thousand subscribers now. Really? Just for talking about it, right? They're saying that he. What I heard was he's trying to. He's trying to like, push it on people basically. on straight, straight men. Like, straight. He's trying to push it on them. Yeah, on straight men. He's, he's literally, and I'm like, I can't remember what video, but I watched one where he was talking, like when he posted, where he's like, I love straight guys. Like, they're just so cute. In Tati's video, she talked about how even at her birthday, like he was talking about straight guys and getting in their pants and like being around them. Like at dinner parties, he was always mm -hmm. like flirting with the waiter, trying to get with the waiter, asking if he was straight, wondering he was, if he was straight so he could get with him. Like, right. you know, just always being like inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And the one that like made me the most disgusted that she said was that even her parent, his parents came over and she hosted them for dinner one day and all of them were over and literally even in front of his parents and in front of her at the dinner table everywhere mm -hmm. he was talking about all the things he'd ever done to guys everything that he'd ever like you know wanted to do like literally very explicit just straight up and she's thinking like you know whatever you think of you think of but mm -hmm. in front of your parents and even if your parents are okay with it whatever it's your parents are crazy like, like, but it's just like disrespectful and inappropriate and right. like just literally only caring about himself mm -hmm. and his well-being. 
and no and one it else shouldn't is. be like that. And no matter how like older you are, grown you are, just because you can do things, don't mean you should. You know what I mean? Right. Like just because you can do it because you can do it, don't necessarily mean you should. Because other stuff comes with you know whatever you choose to do, consequences, reputation, you know, stuff like it's just other things. It's not just about what you want. Right. And you know what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? Everybody is not raised how you were raised. Everybody's not raised like that's disrespectful to say in front of your parents. Right. Some people I mean, are even not if it's raised not about, like that for even real. Even if it's not about her his parents, because she I mean, she said your parents do what they want. Let right. them live. But for her, in her house, at her dining room table... She didn't think that was... But did she that was voice that to him? I mean, she didn't... I don't remember don't her saying it in the video, video, but, so like, that's she's not going to tell If you don't detail. like somebody talking about something in your house, and they you haven't addressed that to them, then they're going to keep doing it. That don't mean he should have started. Right. That don't mean... I'm saying maybe he was so just like, what talking to his friend, like, sis, like, like, listen listen to this. So Look, you're telling me... If you're parents, you're going to start talking about... Sex but and... that's why I said everybody was not raised like how we were. Man. How <laughs> that's that's disrespectful to talk about from your parents. Not you cannot just, say that. Everybody, everybody, about, it's just, that's just it's weird. nasty. Don't talk about sex <laughs> and, <laughs> and like all the details. No miracle. Dude, you you don't that know video. how not just people. You like, have to. You need to watch this video. Uh, but what I'm saying, like, like, maybe him and his parents had a relationship like, where he could talk to them like or talk about things like that in front of them. You really don't know. We all think that's disgusting because yeah, it is, but that's to us. You don't we don't know the relationship he carries with his parents. We don't know if they make him feel like he's is comfortable enough for him to talk about stuff like that in front of them. Or we just don't know. Like, I'm not, we don't know. Talking about sex in front of your parents isn't wrong. I'm talking about what he was saying. Yeah. Which I can't say on my video. Well, I don't know. Because I don't want to say saying. that. But everybody ain't raised like that though. That everybody ain't saying, raised like that. But at us, time, but maybe his parents. In make your him head, feel you got to think. But that, I, think, but I think I think him talking about all of that sexual stuff just once again proves that he doesn't care about anything outside of his own world to even consider respect people, towards people yeah. to even consider True. how other people feel like that just clarifies it like it can literally go around in a circle yeah, like every side good. of the story is heard and understood but yeah. at the end of the day human people should not be talking about sex at a dinner table like it's just Unless that's like, what the conversation is I mean, about, yeah. agreeably through everybody. But she says that it's a constant thing, and even Jeffrey, like it's a place and time. Place well, and yeah, time. it's annoying. Definitely, I'm not gonna say that that's not. So I think especially that's, if that's not the topic, and yeah. you're just constantly like sex, sex. sex that's sex, why the girl was sex, saying sex, that she was like, because it's more than that. Like it was more. She, he always do it individually as a person. Don't think he a bad person. I think he's talented. He does really good makeup. I don't know him, so I don't have a right to talk on his personality or who he is as a person. So I, I let me say that be clear. But with the with the situation and the facts we do know, I don't think personally I wouldn't have done that. I just would have found another brand deal if I already am comfortable. I have sixteen million followers. Millions of Instagram followers, millions. I have money. I already know that y'all got money. Don't need a place. We already know y'all got money. So you could have did without that, in my opinion. That's me. I wouldn't have done that. I just would have been like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. Whatever. It's whatever. I'll find another brand deal. Brand deals probably come to you every day, like every five seconds, because you're so big. And I do think you were wrong on that part, but it all comes down to what you, you know, mm-hmm. who, what you're more, what you believe. And I think they should forgive you, though. I don't think they should hold hate in their heart. I don't think. You know, it should be that type of thing. I think, you know, eventually they should forgive you and move on about your your life. The sexual part of the thing, we won't know much too much about that yet. That's a wrong period if you are doing that. <laughs> but we won't know. So, I don't know. That's my final thoughts on both of them. Wrong for taking that deal and not talking to her about it first. Because that's, I feel like that was the variable that was really missing. He should have mentioned it to her. Sexual predator, yeah, I ain't with that. that <laughs> yeah, I ain't with that. You don't need to be doing that period. in front of people. Period, poo. You don't need to be doing that in front of people. <laughs> that is so ugly. <laughs> I you don't need to be, you don't need to. About James Charles, like, even before this whole situation, just, like, being a subscriber, being a follower, like, I think he's a super interesting, unique human being. He, mm-hmm. He's one of his own. Um, he's really good at makeup. He's good at what he does. He's really like easy to 
you know, be, like, vibe with, kind of, mm-hmm. like, he's relatable, think that it's wrong. Like, I really, truly think that it was, like, disrespectful, you know, being really close to someone and l- literally being close to someone that created your career mm-hmm. and helped pave the way and has been in the industry longer. You know, I think that it was kind of disrespectful to, you know, not even consider her emotions by, like, asking or you know, whatever, just reaching out to a friend. As I noticed, they tend to not care about the stuff little that we would think is so wrong. No, you're right. You're right on that part. And he is still a guy. Like, you're you're right on that a, part, but I don't you know, excuse him for that. He's I'm not saying that he's excused because it's wrong. Yeah. Whatever, you shouldn't have done that. I still don't think that. But they do think because that she clueless. made him that he's going to he's gonna break because right. of his because I don't think so. Right. Right. He's too far up there. Yes, she made him, but he's too far up there to where people are like me and they're, you know, they're like, well, this and well, mm-hmm. there's that. And maybe this could happen and we mm-hmm. don't know him and this yeah. and that. You know, they try to be open minded about it. Not that y'all are not being open minded. I'm just saying there are people out there that are going to be like, well, I don't care what she say, what he say. I'm going to still be yeah. a supporter of him. Yeah, I definitely don't think fine. she's going to break him. I don't think she I mean, I'm, I don't that's think he's gonna, she's going to break, break One thing I want to say to end off this video um, two things actually. One, y'all, he made a mistake. Yeah, it is. It, it, a it's a mistake. Like literally, y'all. It's like every time, especially people who live on the internet. Right. Every time somebody make a mistake, they y'all be ready to, to death judge them. and cancel him forever. Like people don't make mistakes. It's right. not realistic. That's not even humane. If you want to say that, y'all are human. And he is too. He's Just because human, he's famous human, and rich doesn't mean you make mistakes. Right. He made a mistake. Literally forgive him and move on or just stop talking about it. Because being right. rude is not the, the answer That's either. That's not. Being no. nasty to him, commenting under his stuff, commenting under his pictures... Like that's not the way to go either. So just right. if you're not if you're not if you don't support him, don't support him. Just leave it alone. Right. If you do, keep supporting him and y'all go y'all way. Second thing, I want to say this video wasn't to bash anybody. We just talked about you know our opinions. Y'all can be old enough to talk about your opinions around people and not get defensive. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more video like this, make sure... More video. <laughs> hey, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> if you want more videos like this one, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we can do some more spill the tea type mukbangs with all the different, with all the different things going on. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.